I'm Yu Binzhen. I'm a professor at the University of Guelph. We are collaborating with Green Belt Microgreen Production. And so when you produce microgreens, certainly you need light. So we have graduate students involved in this uh, research project uh, on top of the research associates. So here we got a PhD student, Chen Nu. So I use different light spectrum to promote the growth and quality of microgreens. For my research, I use blue and red light combinations in a control environment growth chamber to grow microgreens. So uh, by, uh, with the helio spectral lights, we were able to set up our lights uh, very accurately at the target intensity and their specific light wavelengths. So the main objective of my research is uh, the effects of light intensity using either sole source or supplemental lighting on microgreen growth and quality. So my first experiment focused on uh, sole source LEDs, uh, which we use the Heliospectra LX601C LED arrays. My second trial focused on uh, supplemental LEDs, and that was this experiment was actually done at Greenbelt here. So we set up four benches. Uh, the supplemental lighting ran from 20 micromoles per meter square per second to 300 micromoles per meter square per second. Um, with, with the outdoor ambient light, uh, that gave us a total range, a total daily light integral ranging from seven to 23 moles per meter squared per day. Um, we saw similar effects as the chamber study that light intensity does affect the quality and the morphology of microgreens. Um, we noticed that at higher light intensity, plants were again more compact, uh, shorter um, stem thickness and leaf thickness also increased and same with yield. Uh, Helio Spectra was great. The lights were really easy to use and user friendly. Um, they allowed us to do our experiment uh, well and a lot of lights, horticulture LED lights, always don't have the ability to manipulate the spectrum and intensity and these lights um, enabled us to do this well and easy. For lighting, especially the LED uh, lighting technology is fascinating. It's got so much potential and the more research we do, uh, the less we think we know. So. I think in the coming 10 years, 15 years, we're still going to work on lighting to figure out what light spectrum going to do, what, what combination, what, at what stage, how much light to supply to different species.